Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial for beginners on how to create batch invoices. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And if you share it, that would be great as well. Okay, so the first question probably is what are batch invoices? Well, in QuickBooks, if you're sending the same invoice to multiple customers every single month or every whatever it is, every six months, it doesn't matter. But something that's going to be a, the same charge to multiple customers it could be you know monthly uh, landscaping maintenance it could be you know any monthly charge that's going to be the same to multiple customers every single month there is a function in quickbooks called batch invoicing where you can create all of these at one time okay so i'm going to show you how to do that so here we are on the home screen and the first thing I'm going to do is to go to create invoices. Now you can do that right here, or you can go to the customer's drop down menu and click on create invoices. So we have an invoice here and let's say uh, we are going to send all these. Well, first of all, you're not going to choose a customer or a job. You're not going to fill in any of this here. What we're going to do is you're going to go up to here and click on create a batch. Okay. So it says batch invoicing uses individual customer information and so on. And so what you need to do before you create these batch invoices is make sure that your customer information is set up correctly. So for any of these uh, customers or clients that you're going to send these batch invoices, these monthly charges, you want to make sure that it's set up correctly. So whether it's the appropriate sales tax rate, whether it's the you know, the appropriate send method, whether it's email, print, mail, etc. You want to make sure that you get everything set up in there correctly. So assuming you do, you're going to click OK and you're going to choose. You're going to go through here and you're going to choose which customers that you're going to send an invoice to. So let's say that it's Christy Abercrombie. We'll say Babcox, Chris Baker. Let me scroll down here. We'll say Rafal and Sonia. So these customers are going to get uh, the same invoice every single month. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to say next and we're going to choose what we're going to bill them. So this would be, again, that monthly maintenance charge or landscaping fee or whatever it is that's going to be the same for each one of those. So we're going to go down here. We're going to click our item and let's say that we are charging them every single month for repair work that is just a flat fee. OK, so the rate is thirty five dollars. We're going to say that we give each of them five hours per month. And so we bill them one hundred and seventy five dollars per month for this service. Now you can type in a customer message. You don't have to. Well, you can hit the drop down and you say, OK, it's been a pleasure to work with you. We're going to click next. And it's going to give you a summary and say, OK, review this list of invoices to be created for this batch and click create invoices. You want to just give this a, a quick review. This is a non taxable item in QuickBooks for this particular QuickBooks file. So there's no tax and they all get a one hundred and seventy five dollar charge. And the status says, OK. Next, you're going to click Create Invoices, and you'll see there are four marked for email, and there's one unmarked. So you can go in and send this later. This is why it's important to set up the send method, the send preference in, in the customer center so that you can send all these at once if you're emailing them. Now you can click on the email button, and you'll see here that all of the emails come up for all the ones that we need to send. Now these are the four right here that we just did and then there's some other ones that were already in the system and so you can go through and you can go ahead and in, uh, email all of these invoices at one time so i'm going to close this and not send them if there were any to print you could go ahead and print them the one unmarked one you're going to have to go back into that one and say either email later or print and go ahead and mail it but it's as simple as that. So this can save you a bunch of time if you have uh, the same charge to multiple clients every single month. You definitely want to use this 
batch invoice creation process within QuickBooks. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, got a lot of great videos over there, specifically ones that are going to show you the top mistakes that most people make when using QuickBooks and how to avoid those. The website is qbuniversity.org.